Here we go. This is it. Good luck. I guess. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna start off. We go first, which is awesome. Um, we're gonna sack the God Hand. I do like the starting hand, even though we have to sack God Hand. We have a Brave, a Breaker, and a Veteran. So I can go with the turn two Brave, and we go first. We know exactly what he's playing. He has to play Mono Order. Because he is back against the wall last match. If we won last match, we would have won the entire Deck Wars. But uh, he beat the Order Mirror match. So he lives one more match. But now whoever wins this match is the winner of the entire thing. And Uncrown is going to be pretty good. I want to, um, I'm gonna actually sack it though. I have, that, that's the only enchantment in the deck, I think. So, um, if I have, like, an Earthborn Mystic, I will be able to get it again. Earth Ground would be good for dealing with, um, like, wing shields and stuff. And if he's hiding on the other sides of the board, waiting for his, like, Rosa Bean Potions to come back, he is Duke of the Now, let's see. What do we want to do? I think I'll definitely sack the Breaker for resources. I'm either going to play the Mystic or the Brave. Now, I can move down and play the Brave. And hope he doesn't have a, uh, what's it called? A... Wing Shield? That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to hope he doesn't have a Wing Shield. And then I'll be able to take down this thing, probably. If he has a Wing Shield, he'll absorb the hits. No wing shield, come on. Hopefully he was just like planning on playing a skirmisher. No wing shield, no wing shield. Ah, he had the wing shield. Okay. Can we get a uh, crimson bull? I'm gonna sack for scrolls hoping for a crimson bull, or should I? Yeah, I'm going to. No crimson bull, we're just gonna have to play this. And I am gonna deal a little bit of damage. So I can destroy that with a veteran next turn and then have these guys come in from the back. So I guess that wasn't that bad, even though he put the wing shield down. We'll still be pretty good. And he does not have a focus, but he has that guy. That guy can be a big problem. And we're going to go ahead. Oh, we can't even go veteran this turn. Crap. Um, Quake. This is it. This game decides all the marbles. This is really intense. Uh, if you don't remember, uh, this... He won the first best of five, I won the second best of five, and this is the third best of five, and this is the fifth game. Um, let's sack the Quake. And I'm going to play... I want more health up top. I'm going to play the Fang Bear. Actually, the Mystic. Yeah. So it turns out I think it was a bit of a mistake. If he has a blessing of haste and focus, he could punch me and win the whole thing right here. So hope he doesn't have what he needs. He sacrificed scrolls. Come on, I just want to see him just like play like a wing scapter song. Just play a creature. Please play a just a good creature. Do not have blessing of haste or focus. Well, I don't have. I don't care if he's a focus. If he doesn't have blessing of haste to go with it, he's thinking a lot. That's not a good sign. If he just, if he didn't have a good play to do, he'd just quickly play the creature. I think. Maybe he's thinking whether to move down or not. But then he wouldn't kill this. Okay, phew. He was not able to uh, really do a lot, but he did do that. Um, I can go for a veteran and destroy you. And then do two damage on that. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to move up. I'm going to move up. I want to get an unground. I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice the thing they're so good. A brave. I kind of need that brave to just do continuous damage. I'm going to sack the fang bear. I'm sacking the fang bear. I'm moving up. And I'm playing a sister of the owl. Okay, Alice wants to We'll see what he does. He could have a roasted bean potion. This guy's attacking, but he could still have a roasted bean potion and a focus to really screw me up. This game is the final game of all deck wars. Couldn't have worked out much better than this. 
we split the first two series, and the last series goes to five games. He's second for resources, plays Vanguard. Okay, that could be a problem, but at least he didn't have real big cards to really hurt me. And now, Fertile Soil, Breathe. Um, I'm going to go for an enchantment. It's going to be an unground. So I can play unground on you, and you're going to die. I think that's what I'm going to do. Should I go fertile soil and unground? Yeah, I'm going for the fertile soil unground. I don't think we really need a. Yeah, I'm going for the fertile soil. Ragged Wolf is good. And now what do I want to sack here? I want to sacrifice the... Oh, this is also good. I'll sack the Fang Bear. I know Fang Bear is, like, so good against... I don't have stack arts in this deck, so maybe it's not going to be a huge deal. And we don't want to take, like, a focus, like, Roasted Bean Potion. We're going to move up. We don't want to take any chances in this final game. Okay. So that thing's gone. And now we have, we can go with a, we did that Fertile Soil, so now we have the Resource Advantage and a Slight Card Advantage. Or actually, actually, I don't know if we have a Card Advantage, I'm not sure if he sacked it. He did not sack it, but yes he did. He, yeah, he sacked for cards, okay, so we do have a Slight Card Advantage. Um, we have two haste names, we have a Veteran and a Regal, we have not drawn a Crimson Bull yet. Or I might just want to get down to one countdown creatures with the Ranger and the Red, which would also be good. And he is moving up, and that Veteran's going to boost him. Hmm. Eternal Sword. This is scary. This is really scary. Um, I'm gonna sack for scrolls here, see what I can get. Rat King, breathe. We can get into God Hand territory very soon. Oh, he's gonna have a roasted bee potion probably. This 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 thing is gonna have a lot of attack. There's no point in me killing this with it, my uh, veteran and ragged wolf piece. This, the thing's just going to latch itself onto something else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to leave the middle of the door right open. If he has the focuses to like win the game this turn, good game. But we're going to go like this. We're going to put the... Put you and you down. Okay, and then, okay, and then next turn I'm going to go with a Rat King and hopefully I can play something else, and then I can go for a God Hand. Hopefully he's not able to destroy that much of my stuff this turn. We'll see what he can do though. It's very close. Very, very, very close. Um... So this coming turn I'm going to go Rat King... I was considering doing Rat King and uh, Brave last turn instead of Rutland Ranger Brave. Maybe I should have done that. I don't know. It's a tough call. It's a tough call. Whew. Hmm. So this match will conclude... Um, the deck war series whether I win or whether I lose flip okay so I think that means he actually that's pretty bad hopefully he doesn't have a burst of being potion to get up to the top so whether I win or lose this match it will conclude the series but tell me if you want more stuff like this in the future okay not too bad at least he wasn't able to completely demolish me up top and two god hands. Oh boy, that's good. I am going to draw the enchantment. Unground. Uh, Unground's not going to do much this turn, but I am going to play. I want to be able to destroy stuff. We're going to sacrifice the... We're going to sacrifice the unground. We can go double god hands soon. So, I want you to die to a single rat or something. So I'll go like that. 
I will move you down. I will play a Rat King. And that will be my turn. That works, right? Okay. Now we see what you can do to protect against a double god hand. We can actually win. If he doesn't protect his idols right now, we have to be in one. If he like if he stays where he's standing right now, we win. If he moves about, we could probably uh, clear his board. We'll see. We will see. I do like our position, but I'm very worried. He has order. He has tons of tricks up his sleeve. He, all those utility cards, flips, focuses, polys, busting pages, or beam pushing, speeds. Only has five resources though, so he can't do that much in this turn. So I don't think he's gonna be able to destroy enough things on my side of the board. Oh boy. I, I, some people uh, were made made some big bets on the deck wars. They're betting in-game gold on me or Blinky to win the entire thing. And I bet everybody's sitting in their seats now. I'm very nervous. I bet everybody's very nervous right now. Everybody watching that has those bets down. This smash is very close. It can go either way. If, I think I do have the advantage, though. He has definitely the better creatures, but I have two god hands in my hands. He's running out of time. Maybe he's trying to think of like the best the play that would kill most of my creatures. Okay, he has a roasted bean push. He's going to move. Is he, is he just going to do that? Just, oh, he's going to kill both of them, probably. Okay. Um. Spoon potion. Oh, boy. And that's his turn. Okay, I'm fine with that. He gets away, though. We're going to go with the god hand, right? Or do we? What does the god hand do for us? We would do a lot of damage, that's for sure. Let's see, that would be four. Wouldn't quite win the game. A god hand would destroy that idol, and I have four and four, and a, four, and a three. So I can get an idol down to two health. And then I'll have another god hand for the next turn. And I'll destroy that. But I think I'm going to go ahead and save that god hand. Okay, save those two god hands and sack for scrolls. And I'm just going to go with the veteran right here. Move away. Yeah, move away. And um, I'm going to put you both there. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Let's see what he can do. I was hoping when I played that, when I sacked for Shrills, that I would draw a, like, a two drop to play with the veteran. It's getting a little bit greedy. Because I don't have Sister of the Fox in this deck, I don't think. I should think it might have been impossible to get a charge you, but this might be the only two drop in the deck. It might not be a ranger here. I really should have looked at my decks harder before the matches. We'll see if it ends up mattering. I don't think he's gonna be able to kill these guys up here. I think he's gonna have to play some blockers now. He has one. Oh, you already have a roasted bean potion on you. Huh. So a roasted bean potion on you would actually give you so much move, it could actually move all the way up to here. But he already played two roasted bean potions. One's on him, one's on him. So the chances he has the third one in his hand are not that high. It's possible though. Like if he has like a busting a pace on this guy, a roasted bean on this guy, and a focus, like. We lose the game. If he just has a blocker, we probably win the game. He moves up there, there. Okay, good. Okay, it's just, just that. Phew, okay. Now let's see. A, um, first let's get the enchantment. Unground. Now if we god hand, we win, right? No, we don't. We don't win. That's a dead idol. That's a dead idol. This is, uh, this is dead, and that's down to two. Do we god hand? That is the question. Um...
think we have to because we have to make sure we can get rid of this thing. Yep, I'm going to God Hand. I'm going to sacrifice the uh, Unground. I think I'm maybe God Hand a turn too late. I don't know. So that's going to destroy that. That's going to destroy that. Okay. Well. Two damage. And he can kill a lot of my stuff. Would have liked to be able to go ahead and clear his board. He has Eternal Sword in him. No Eternal Sword in him. Four health is hard to destroy. Be nice to get it like another Rat King. That's what I want. I want another Rat King. My idols are pretty low too. Like he can sneak in a win. Eternal Sword. So he's gonna take out middle idol, it looks like. You know what? That's fine. Aging Knight. Okay. Another Aging Knight. Oh man. That's not good. That is not good. Double Aging Knight. That's not good. Let's get a Quake. Let's draw a Quake. Rally. Uh, fertile Soil. Uh, fertile Soil is just going to be too slow. We're going to have to try to go for Quakes. We do not get the Quake, but we do have a Veteran. Veteran's pretty good. can't do that much. I can't do that much. I'll stay up here. I'm not going to move down because at least if we stay here, we're, at, we're luring him to move off of this idol. So I guess that's good. I think we're going to lose this. Let's play the Ragged Wolf too. It's our turn. Oh man, what does he have? What does he have in that hand? Come on. Let's, let's bring the other two Rat Kings to me, please. Bring the other two Rat Kings. Kings won't even do that much because this guy's going to attack. And I have to watch out for losing. What a way to wrap up the deck wars. A game five in the third one that we are, that we split the first two series, and this game five is really, really, really close. You have roasted bean potion. I have a crimson ball. That roasted bean potion guy's is gonna make me lose this game. He's gonna have seven attack and he's gonna attack anywhere on the board. There's not much I could do about that. I need Rat Kings. And like two Rat Kings. I'm gonna sacrifice the uh the rallying. Well I guess I'm gonna put the 
the uh, sister of the owl down. Yeah, I'll put the sister of the owl down. And then let's put the vengeful veteran. You're gonna have five. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, let's put you here. It's hard to decide where you want these because that guy's gonna have seven. You you can, can I shouldn't have done that. I for, yeah, this I forgot about the seven attack. He's gonna move down and kill me. Whatever I could have done, he could kill almost anything. But I guess it's better kill me than the idols, right? And I already used two ragged wolves, so it's not like I could like sneak a crimson bowl win in here. Gonna have to get rat kings. Maybe if I got handed one turn earlier, I would have won this game. Because that's just another turn for his guys to count down. Yeah, why didn't I got hand a turn? I think that was a bit of a misplay. Not like an obvious misplay, because it like wasn't like a like a easily seen thing that was just like. Okay, that's a board clear. Is he not gonna have that much to protect that idol? Oh, he has a wing shit, okay. Yeah, we, I think we lost this game. And he's gonna have less than haste, probably. He's gonna be able to take this, a rat king at least. We will sacrifice that. You know what? If Crimson Bolt was one less cost, that would be good. Well, I guess this is our best chance. We just play the Great Wolf and the Rat King, and we hope. Play that, and we hope that he doesn't have anything to beat us. Let's bring you back over here. So I can move up and uh, maybe hit that for two damage. If Grim Bowl was just still too cost, I might be able. I, I would be in a much better situation. So I could be able to god him from his ball next turn if he can't punish me by destroy that bad. Clear my board here, but he probably will clear my board. He has five cards. Hmm. Uh, that probably um sealed it. Probably sealed it for him. He's able to kill my great wolf. Probably sealed it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just about dead. Well, that was exciting. Darn. We're gonna go down strong though. I guess we'll have to sack that quake. A little too late for the quake. But I guess I could quake here and hope I can draw another quake. But even then, I would probably lose from these guys. And eh, whatever. Whatever. I'll put you down. Taxing 2 is going to hurt as well. The Quake. Oof. Oof. Oh, this guy. I forgot this guy's supposed to be in potion. They all have a bean potion. <laughs> no, I'll be two of them. Okay. I mean, I still have a rumble. Even then, it wouldn't be that big. I have nine resources. I could do big play if I had a rumble. Oh well. Looks like the game's over. I'll sack the rally. I'll just play those three, right? I guess I just play these three on this row. And he probably wins. He probably wins this the game on this turn. Uh, I 
I'm gonna get the GGWP ready. I'll put the exclamation point there to wrap up this great deck wars. Very close throughout the whole thing. Looks like we're just gonna be slightly edged in the end. If he doesn't have GG, you wouldn't need a lot. Oh yeah, wait, yeah, GG. Oh yeah, didn't you notice that guy has a... <laughs> I forgot. Um, so, that was it. That was Deck Wars. That was a ton of fun. We were so close to winning that. We were two idle damage away from winning the Deck Wars, but we lose. Sorry for all of you that uh, bet on me to win it. Your lost gold. Oh well. That was a ton of fun, though. Uh, thank you to Blinky for um, approaching me and asking to do this. This is a ton of fun. Um, so make sure you go check out his perspective for any matches that you want to. Um, and let us let me know in the comment section if you like this kind of thing. If you want to see th this kind of thing in the future, maybe we, I could do kind of this kind of thing with uh, different different people. Do it again, Blinky. I don't know. And I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, me and Blinky uh, are both. I'd say both very good scrolls players. We played a lot of intense close matches. Some funny things like him winning with the old decay. Yeah, I won a match with my grave locks. Um, very close to the other thing. A quick recap. So um, he here. Let me just see. Let me, I'll give a quick recap right here. So in series one, we let off with aggro order and we we won a match and then. We lost three straight after that to his YOLO Decay. So then we lost Series 1. And then Series 2, we won two matches lead on, leading off with Aggro Growth. And then uh, eventually finished it up in four matches by beating him with um, our Poison Decay order with against, uh, his, against his Growth. And then this Series... We won game one with our grave locks, and then he came back to beat us. And then the second, in the third game, we won again with uh, with our order. But then he came back to beat us, or beat our order in the mirror match. And then it came down to this final game five, and we lost it very close. So, well played matches by Blinky, and it was a ton of fun. So thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you love this kind of content, and I'm gonna keep all these scrolls videos coming at you every day. So, like it if you've enjoyed, and stay tuned for more Scrolls action. I hope you all enjoyed the series.